what's up guys, Pablo Gaming here, and today I will be playing Payday 2. Now I have not talked about this game on my channel at all, and I haven't expressed my love for Payday and how much I used to play it all the time. But really, as you can see by my level down at the bottom left, I am Infamy level 296. And that is a pretty big level for a console version because the, the computer version has a lot more content that gets a lot more content than the consoles do. So this is Crime Wave Edition, this is the PS4 Remastered one that comes with all the DLCs and all that there. And as I said, I played this quite a lot. Infamy 2 level 96, be Infamy is basically like a prestige in Call of Duty. You have to get up 100 levels and also you need to save up 200 million in your offshore account which you can see down in the bottom left with the rank. I have 29 million in it so far. An offshore account is basically like a bank account that you buy contracts. Like I haven't actually explained what this game is. This is a bank robbing simulator, sort of. You go into banks with masks on, and you basically rob a bank, and then you get money at the end of it. And then with that money, you buy equipment for the next bank heist. And it just it's a bit like a loop. So, I am infamy level 96, which basically means I'm level 296. And that that's a pretty big number. That is a seriously big number. So I'll show you my skill tree before I get into a heist. And I am a sort of stealthy bank robber. I like doing banks on stealth because I don't like fighting the SWAT too much. And I just have the basic skills. So I have the ghost tree which basically is stealth. You get more body bags for guards. You can run faster. You can get more money. And then I've got fugitive which is like a bit of a mismatch of all the skills just shoved into one and then I've got technician which I've only got this the drill you'll hear the drill because the drill breaks down every five seconds uh, I've just got one in enforcer and I've got a few in mastermind so I will get back oh I haven't explained how you actually find a heist so basically you go into this crime.net offline or if you want to play with your friends you go into crime.net but basically you sit on this menu until a heist pops up that you want or you can go down to the contract broker and you can spend as I said earlier the offshore money that you've earned buying one of these heists and trust me that they cost a lot of money especially the pro jobs because you can only do the pro jobs once and then it, if you feel if you feel the stealth or you die during the pro job you base the the job fails and you lose the money that you spent on it and you don't get any money at the end of it so you have to do a pro job you basically need two or three people you it's not really advised to do it by yourself so these skulls that are popping up next to the jobs these are the difficulty so that is death wish that is the hardest difficulty the three skulls means overkill and then oh i'm gonna maybe i'll maybe do a ukrainian job i'm not too sure but then the one skull means hard and then the two skulls mean very hard. So that's the difficulty level next to them. And these are just different heists that are popping up. For some reason it decided, it's decided to give me pro jobs which I don't want. I want to do, yes, I will gladly do jewelry store. Right, so I will get back to you guys when I've set this up. Okay, so this is the menu you load into when you've started up the heist. And it shows you your equipment, which you can change. Of course, you can change your guns and your sh and your melee weapons. There are some stupid ones, like you can hit guards with money bundles, boxing gloves. The, my favorite, though, is a goddamn flag. You run around with the American flag and you hit guards with it. That is the most overpowered melee weapon, but it's the, mo it's the most obvious. Because, as you can see down at the bottom there, it says concealment. And, as you can see there, the higher the number the better it is concealed and it only has 20 concealment which is I'm pretty sure the lowest a melee weapon can go as you can see there that knife the trench knife has 32 concealment concealment which is very good that's that basically means guards can't detect it and this briefcase still has the same somehow I don't understand why they, they can detect that so that's the melee weapons this is my favorite gun in the game this is a shotgun well it's a pistol shotgun but I have a silencer, like a gigantic silencer stuck in the front of it. And it is the most overpowered thing in the game. And I just have a generic machine gun that's silenced. And then I have ECM jammers which are used to block cameras and open up uh, security doors. Which 
in my case, are very useful if you can't find the key card to get into a security room. And then that, this is your armor. I have a two-piece suit on because it ha it's the most concealed, but say you had that on, as you can see there, it's brought my detection risk to 63. And I do not want 63 detection risk. That basically means if you walk past a guard at any point, the guard's going to detect you and start shooting at you. So I'm just going to keep it concealed. And this may take quite a few tries because I'm still getting back into the way of stealthing heists. So I will start this up and let's see how it goes. Yes, yes. Okay, we need to clean out the joint. Eight bags. Eight bags? Jesus Christ. Right. So, this is... This is what it looks like in game. It gives you two random AI which will help you if the police arrive. If the police don't arrive and you stealth it, they'll just stand outside and just act normal. So I am just going to walk around here and the back way is cut off, which means I'm going to have to go through the store. And I don't like going through the store because it's risky. Hello, 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 hello. Greetings, greetings, greetings. Right, did I see a guard walk around that corner? I'm pretty sure I did. Yes, I did. Right, I'm gonna put my mask on and shoot this guy. Dead. <laughs> he flew. That's why I love this gun so much. And then when you kill a guard, you have to answer the pager, and you have four pagers per heist. So if you answer five pagers, the uh, the guard over the radio will get suspicious and then call or sound the alarm even. So he will. And it's basically if there's more than five guards, don't be shooting more than five guards. Oh, he's seeing me. I need to open up this window. You can basically open up anything in this game within reason. You can open up windows, you can open up doors, you can open up garage doors. You're dead. <sighs> I'm really hoping no one finds that body bag in the other room while I'm answering this guy's pager because it's going to be very bad. If I can remember correctly, there's usually another guard around this corner, but I want to make sure in case there is because that would be quite... In fact, I'm not going to bag you. There's no point. No one else comes around here. No, there's no other guard, right, okay. It's a waste of body bags if I bag him up. I only You only have two body bags, and then after you use the two body bags, you can either get a dead drop, which is like buying body bags or not. Okay, there's only one guy in here. Did, did, did you seriously not see me? Did, did you seriously... <laughs> did he seriously not see me when I walked in through the door? Are you an idiot or something? Right, so you have six cable ties, and you cable tie down civilians, and they're just basically hostages, as you can see up on the top right, it says my hostage count. So I'm just going to start smashing these and steal all the jewelry. So I'm going to nick every single one of these, because they're worth 15 grand each, which is quite a, a large amount of money. I would recommend everyone getting this game right now, because it is very cheap. Right now, it's about £15 in stores and about 25 online, like in the PlayStation Store. And I would recommend you getting this game if you haven't, because it is just a seriously good game. And also, the people that, the people that make this game Overkill, they have announced... Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, the people on Overkill that's made this game has said that they're going to keep on adding DLC into it for the next year and a half, which is a, like really good since this game's already been out for about maybe two years already. So it is it Overkill is very good with supporting games even longer than they should be. And they've announced that they're going to be making a Payday 3, which is going to be very good because I'll be buying that. Man, are you good? Get down. Get down. Don't you dare. Right. Is there a garden here? Oh, apparently we're not gonna see. So, it gets a wee bit gruesome when we get into the main store bit. Because I can only cable tie five other civilians. And when I run out of cable ties, the civilians will start getting up and trying to call the police. So, the only way... Oh, I'm out of cable... See, this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm gonna have to shoot all the civilians. And every time you shoot a civilian, you get fined for it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But it, it, uh, you're going to call the police if I leave you alone, and I can't allow that to happen. Right, so now I'm going to start stealing jewellery. So I've now got a bag of jewellery, which I'm going to throw here. Oh, hold on, there's a man outside. Please don't notice, please don't notice, please don't notice. We didn't notice. Right, okay. <laughs> I'm going to start robbing everything. I'm going to actually cut this bit out, because this bit's a wee bit boring. Oh, civilians noticed, civilians noticed. 
Oh god. Oh god. Wait, there's police here. Don't you fire a gun. Don't you dare. You die. Jesus Christ. Thank God the police don't have pagers. Right, is that everyone that could possibly see me? There's a guy walking, wait, is he walking towards me? He is too. I'm sorry. Oh, for God's sake. The, I'm pretty sure there's only a certain limit of civilians that walk past. So, <coughs> Jesus, sorry. Sorry about that. My throat is currently dying right now. It seems that every time I try to make a video, I'm always sick or I have a sore throat. Right, I think that's every single piece of jewelry. And the drill is in there. Well, I'll go show you what the drill looks like for educational purposes. This is what the drill looks like. As you can see here, it has a timer. And uh, in perfect timing, it's broken down. So this is what the drill does every around about 30 seconds. It jams, and then you have to restart it. I've got a skill that lets me restart it faster. That's why it, that's why it took a wee bit faster, but... If you don't have that skill, it literally takes about maybe 20 seconds, which is a quite a big amount if you're being shot up. So I've killed every single civilian that walks past, which means I have free will to just walk back and forth towards this. Now, I'm pretty sure... Oh, hold on. Did I just see a civilian? Okay, maybe I didn't. Maybe that was me hallucinating or something. But I'm pretty sure I don't have your bags. I'm pretty sure I only have six, which means the other two are in that safe that the drill is going through right now. <clears throat> so I might have to cut that bit out too. It's either going to be a very short video or that I'm going to have to do another heist. Okay, so I am. Um, I only have seven bags, which means there might be two in the other safe. There might only be one in the safe. If there are two, it means I will get a extra bonus for getting for getting more bags. There is a minute left. Well, just over a minute left on it. So oh, for frig's sake, really? Really, bro? Uh, da, da, da. <laughs> As you, this just this is what you have to go through. It's even worse with police because the police can like hit the drill. They can hit it with their like the ball of their guns, and it will break it down. So you could fix it, and then like two seconds later, another another police guy comes in and hits it, and then it breaks down again, and then you have to shoot him and like fix it again. It's just it's just a constant loop. And now I'm gonna just shoot everything in the shop because I'm bored. I have to wait. This is what you do if you're doing a stealth. You're, if you're bored, you just destroy everything. Like especially in the bank one. There's a bank heist, and in the in the vault, in the vault there is like deposit boxes, and you can either pick the deposit boxes open, or if you have a certain skill, you can get a saw. But I don't have the saw, so you just have to go through each deposit box and pick them open, and it's just like the worst thing ever. I don't play this by myself usually, I'm just playing it by myself for this video. I usually play it with my friends, and it's a lot more fun with my friends. I might, as I said in my changes video, I'm, oh yes there's two, I might actually do a video of the three musketeers on this game because it'd be seriously funny to, to try and watch us do a heist, because it, it's even worse, like I just got lucky here trying to stealth this, so I am, like I'm, I just got lucky. But you should see us just trying to stealth Big Bank. Big Bank is like the hardest uh, heist stealth in this game. God's sake, everything is installing right now. Everything. I, I reinstalled my Battlefield 4 again. So I did because I deleted it off my PlayStation because it was taking up room. So I deleted it off. I might do a plays video on that because I only the only video I've done on it is a new plays. Okay, I got 200k for that. Okay, so I'm going to jump in here. Yeah, you've earned a stealth bonus. Thank you very much indeed. Yes, Bean. The the guy talking over the radio is Bean. He basically sets up all the heists for you. So I got over a million in offshore money and three hundred k in spending cash. I I won't get ranked up too much because I'm a high level. So, hold on. Let's see, infamy bonus gauge. But yeah, I'm not getting. Oh, I got a reduction for killing civil civilians. Yeah. <laughs> so at the end of every heist, you get to pick a card. And then whatever's on that card, you get to keep. So I'm really hoping this is a mask. I'm seriously hoping it's a mask. Oh, it's a paint. Solid light brown. Why would I ever want to put that in my mask, ever? 
tell me game, why would I ever want to do that? Jesus Christ. Sometimes you get really good things, like you can get a cash bonus of like 500k, which is like the rarest cash bonus you can get, and then also you can get masks. So this is Payday 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did, and see you.